Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be repairing my Hampton Bay ceiling fan here in my office. And a few years ago, I actually did a, a, a video on this too. And it turned out to be that it was a defective pull chain switch. The symptom that I am having now is similar to the last problem. I now am missing medium speed, but I do have high speed and low speed. I did a short on this a, a couple days ago, describing what the problem is. We're going to go into detail on how this happened and also how to fix it. So I hope you guys can see this okay. So I don't have an overhead light at the moment for obvious reasons. But what is happening is that the capacitor in here was defective. This is the old capacitor. And thankfully, I was able to find a Bojack branded one. It's a CBB61, which is the part number that you would normally find for a three-speed fan. And inside here is the switch that I had replaced. And what's interesting is that the switch is not what you might think because I've actually written out what the color code is here. So for Hampton Bay, L is black, one is orange, two is purple, and three is yellow. And what I thought it was, this is the kind of switch, so a ZE268S1. And that basically means L goes to 1, L to 2 for medium, and low L to 3. And that's a KTE, which is the part number in here, the 3089, but they call it a circuit R. This is not the correct one. What is actually the correct one is if you have the KTE 3089, but circuit M, or a ZE268S6, where high is L to 1, but medium is L to 2 to 3 and low is L to 3. That is the correct one for this Hampton Bay switch, but you're, depending on your model, it could be different. I'll link in the description for the replacement part for the capacitor and also the part number for a equivalent replacement of the pull chain switch. When you get the capacitor, it's going to have all these wires populated, but the, specifically the purple and the yellow are going to be tinned on the end because those two are going to go to the switch here. The other two what I did was I just cut them short and then I just used simple butt connectors to splice the capacitor into the wiring here. And I got lucky because the fan and light circuitry was all in this assembly so I was able to work on it on the bench. Not every ceiling fan unfortunately is designed that way but just to give you a quick idea of it's basically thankfully the color coding was straightforward and I can just you know, yellow to yellow, purple to purple, so on and so forth. To test the capacitor, I have it set to ohms. It's going to beep. Now, capacitors do not allow DC voltage to pass across them, but it will allow AC voltage to pass across them. Uh, the orange is the uh, common point between all of the capacitors inside. That's three capacitors in one unit here. So we have, so from orange to gray, I'll just look past the camera. I'm not going to get any kind of reading. And that's good. That means that capacitor is good. I'm going to measure between the purple and orange. And I'm not getting a reading either. However, where yellow, the medium speed, I'm getting a dead short. So that's telling me that this capacitor internally has shorted out. So that explains why I was not getting medium speed. I was getting high speed, high speed, then just low speed all of a sudden, and then off. Now as an addendum to my original video, again, I thought it was this setup where it would be L to 1, L to 2, L to 3, circuit R. Uh, it was not the case. The way it, it, the correct one is up here it is a circuit M or a ZE268S6, and that connects L to 1, L2, and 3 for medium speed, and then L to 3. And the way that it's working, after I did out the math, so if it's set to high, there's no capacitors involved. It just directly connects it to the line coming in from your house, and then you got your full speed to the fan. Medium is probably the most complex, so it takes the six uh, microfarad, so the yellow and the purple, and it connects those two capacitors in parallel. That'll give me, uh, actually this is wrong, this is actually supposed to be 11 microfarads. So then what it'll do next is that it'll take those two capacitors in parallel and then take those two capacitors and then put it in series with the gray wire, which is the four and a half microfarads. 
and it gives me a total microfarad of 3.194 and there's your medium speed and it will slow down the fan. Finally, L to 3 on low, so you have your 6 microfarads and then the 4.5 microfarad on the gray wire, so yellow and gray wire are connected in series, giving us the lowest possible 2.571 microfarads and that's your low speed, so that is going to be moving the slowest. But um, yeah, that's basically how that works. There are different circuits in there and uh, this is what I've learned and after doing a lot of research myself. But I hope that this alternative color code helps you out here too because sometimes black, orange, purple, yellow, those are not the colors used. But hopefully this gives you guys an idea of how this works. And as you can see, it works great. I'm going to go... So we have high. We'll get that up to speed first. All right, so we're a bit of a wind tunnel right now, so that's high. Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit slower and then finally low. And finally off. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I've learned a lot in the last couple of years since I had done that original video. It's actually one of my more top performing videos, and hopefully this video will give you a little bit more background information. Thank you so much again for watching and supporting the channel, and I will see you guys on the next project.